Hey guys, Danger Dano here with another rock and roll video for Rise of Empires Ice and Fire and today we're going to do a quick demonstration on how we can trade points on KE Weekend. We're having quite the trading party here. I mean as you can see anybody that knows uh, trading knows that this is, uh, this is quite the little powwow. So the idea here is what you see is people placing their troops on these gathering tiles and then the opponent will attack those gathering tiles to kill troops and both parties kill some troops and therefore get some points for the KE weekend uh, but this is essentially how trading points goes so I'm gonna go in I just sent some and I will just heal these guys real quick because you want to try to keep them healed so that you don't end up running your medical tents full otherwise you end up in some trouble and you don't really want to actually kill troops too much here so I'm gonna wait right now we got uh, these are enemies these are the opponents we're up against uh, state 364 we're state 524 and these guys from what I'm gathering, I haven't actually seen it myself, so take it with a grain of salt, but from what I'm gathering, these guys are attacking people in the trading zone, which is sort of what you might consider dishonorable. Uh, so here, there's an open tile here. I'm going to put my troops on this one. And then we'll see. So I've activated my Clash of Provinces 100% score and that's running in the background now i've placed my troops there so automatically these guys are, are are just waiting for me to put my troops there so i got 22 million points there and i will again just wait for my troops to return and i'll place my troops back there and then i'll go in and heal up what i got Now I don't really recommend, it's all I have is uh, is enhanced troops. I, I don't recommend using enhanced troops because they cost gold to heal. So I would probably just use regular troops, but I'm kind of stuck with what I got. So again, I'll go in and heal as soon as my troops get back. Should be any second now. And this is kind of the idea when we are trading points. We are just placing our troops on gathering tiles. The opponents are attacking them. Uh, sorry, now what I wanted to get at was, if you notice, I'm, I'm still under shield. Uh, and most of the people from our state are still under shield. And that's because these guys are, from what I hear, attacking players that are just trading points. Now, you know, it's part of the game you should be able to attack anywhere but at the same time you try to be honorable of people trading so if you notice we've all gathered in the corner that's typically how point trading is going to happen you're going to all gather in the corner so you know if you're a considerate person uh, and you don't want to cause trouble then you see people in the corner trading points you know don't come in and start attacking people uh, that's not really cool so but apparently there was some of that going on so I'm staying under shield and now how I do that is I I will not attack these tiles with enemies on them because then I'll have to drop my shield so I'll wait so there's one that opened up and I'll place my troops on the tile when it's empty and then I'll let them attack it and therefore I don't have to drop my shield so that's one way to keep your shield up when you're trading points if your opponents are willing to do that obviously you can see our opponents are looking like they're quite desperate to be trading points I know most of our uh, we're up against a 364 so I mean they're quite a bit older than we are and therefore quite a bit stronger most of their heroes are far more developed and and further advanced than ours I think these are all SX guys and we are still in we just finished up season two so uh, it's it's tough when you're up against 
states that have such a difference like this. So they're so much stronger than us. So therefore our entire state is scared and under shield. I mean, even myself, I'm one of the stronger castles in my state. Um, well, this is actually my second castle, but my other castle is one of the strongest. Rock and Roll is one of the strongest in the state. And it is nothing compared to these guys. So I'm, uh, even myself, I'm staying under shield for the weekend. And hopefully we will drop back down to Silver League and therefore we won't have to fight guys so much more advanced than us. So this is basically the idea when you're trading points though. And if it was a, a more an equal state and maybe what you might consider honorable uh, and not so desperate for points, then, then I, I might consider dropping my shield and attacking these guys and evening out the playing field. But you know what? I, I'm not too desperate to drop my shield. So I'm just going to kind of work with what I got, place my troops on empty tiles. And then, again, like I say, remember to heal them. Because if your tents end up full, they end up dying. So... This guy is strong. This guy attacked me. I barely did any damage to him. I think I lost a lot of troops. So that kind of sucks. I don't like that when your opponents are so much stronger than you. Uh, you do end up burning a lot of resources. I mean, you burn a lot of resources trading anyways, as you can see. I mean, every time I go in to heal, it's a considerable amount of resources. I mean, over a million iron and four million gold. So, and that's why I say don't use enhanced troops because they actually do cost you quite a bit of gold. Now, I actually really don't want this God of War to hit me again because that was... Oh, there he's left. Okay. Hopefully that wasn't just him porting right there. And I'll go back in, make sure I'm healed, right? And that's uh, that's the idea. And you just keep on going until you fill however many chests you feel like filling. I mean, I I get nine chests every day. That's a goal of mine. So I make sure to do it. Doesn't really matter what it takes. I don't care if I have to spend extra resources to get it. Uh, I'm going to. Oh, this guy should have continued coming. He would have got a hit too. So. And as you can see, I mean, there's no... Uh, normally these are organized. Normally you would be talking with people, being like, yeah, okay, I'm going to put my troops here, and you're going to attack it, and, you know, all is a, a good agreement. This is just kind of a frenzy. We've just been putting our troops here, and just the first person to get there that attacks it gets the points. So I am here just about... Oh, I've got close to nine chests I'm going to need I think another 60 another 70 million points and then once you're done you're done I've seen some people do this trading points thing to even get MVP uh, you know you can just keep on trading points if you have the resources like I say it's quite pricey on resources yeah so about another 70,000 points so I'll let you guys stick around just I'll do that real quick We'll get these points, and then we'll call her a day. Again, I'm going to go and heal. Now, you might not have to heal this fast. I mean, I do have some room in my tents, but uh, I am pretty low on T9s right now. I just got to the T9s on this account, and I don't have... I only have about a legion and a half worth, so I kind of need to heal them every time anyways and I think I might need one or two more hits probably two more hits and then we'll call her good so hopefully this helps you guys as far as trading points uh, especially when 
you are... Ooh, I got a lot of points on that one. Especially when you're stuck for points on KE Weekend, uh, when either the state is so much stronger than you, or you're up against a state that's so much weaker and everybody's shielded and you can't really find good targets. This does tend to help a lot. So hopefully this helps you guys get some points on KE Weekend. Uh, I mean, preferably go around and kill people, or kill troops. I mean, that's the idea, you know, but sometimes it just doesn't work. So, if this helped you at all, you know, send a like, subscribe, I'd love it. Love to hear from you guys. If there's anything you guys actually want to hear about, uh, let me know, and I'll try to make videos as per request. And then as your legions just empty out, I just will fill my next legion. My heroes aren't really that great in this castle, but, I mean, I do have a, a somewhat high-level witch, so good for my archers. And... And yeah, I'm gonna have to go in and heal. And one more hit and I should have my ninth chest. See, I mean, tons of resources. I think I've gone through 20 million gold. I mean, good thing I have farms that have a lot of gold in them. Make sure I got my gear on. Because these guys are all gonna be, I mean, some of these guys even have dragon gear. We we are nowhere near dragon gear. We're, se we're season two, so, you know. It is what it is, it's who we're up against. I'd love to hear from you guys anyways. I'll, uh, I'll show you here. Oh, what's going on? Maybe, I must have hit my chest. Oh yeah, I did. All right, there we go, we got ninth chest. So easy peasy, that's how we do her. Get ninth chest on KE day, trading points. Uh, and like I say, if it helped you, send a like, send a subscribe. Catch you guys in the next one.